think, um, okay, yeah, the big funk thing came from the States and then um, the big, big, big sort of Euro, cold, sterile rock um, thing came from Germany with bands like Kraftwerk. But in England there's a big tradition of pop groups. I think TV programmes, pop groups and actors are our biggest exports. So, and we fall into the pop group category, I think. Don't you? Yeah, I think um, mainly what happened was in England we had punk rock, which happened sort of in 1976-1977. And then after that, um, I think there was a whole surge of new bands that decided they didn't want to wear tatty old ripped clothes anymore and they actually wanted to make some sort of effort and make some more sort of tuneful music at the same time. And uh, we had a return to good songs and bands like us, ABC, Haircut 100, are just sort of now growing out of England and spreading across the continent. In the same way that the Beatles and the Rolling Stones did in the 60s. And Bowie was the innovator of the slightly offset stage show and that kind of the oh. image thing. And Dino was the innovator of so many new sounds, especially the synthesizers. I mean, I suppose, you know, it was a little bit of an influence on you, wasn't it? Yeah, at some stage, definitely. I think now we're influenced by each other more than uh, anybody else does. Mm. What happens after synthesizers? If, if the uh, electricity cut comes, when, what happens then? Oh, What's in your music? Uh, wash sticky towels, <laughs> washboards and mouth organs. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you still think that you manage in the record business all. I think so. at the end of the day it's down to a song really, how good the song is and we do concentrate on trying to make our songs uh, really good and what they're played on is just the most sort of up to date way that songs can be presented at the moment. I mean, they, our songs stand up if they're just played on acoustic guitar. Mm. We write the songs first and then they kind of suggest certain visual images to us and then we get together with our managers, talk about it. He goes off and, and looks for a director who would suit our kind of visual ideas. Then we get together with the director, talk about it, work it out together. He comes back with a storyboard. We look at it and we say, oh, that bit's good. That bit's no good at all. What about this? And then he thinks, oh, yes, what about that? And it kind of reciprocates. It works together, you and the director, working generally around the rough script that the music and the song provides and um, then you go off to somewhere wildly exotic like Sri Lanka and there's lots of elephants and cocktail bars and waterfalls and beautiful women and um, have a lot of fun and come up with something which is visually quite exciting. Do you see videos as a new media for Certainly. creative mind? Definitely. Certainly for groups. Yeah. I think the thing is we have three medias now. One is the live performance, the second the studio recording albums and the third video. Um, we are really pioneering it as a band over the world now. We're sort of ahead of everybody else because instead of just using it as a promotional device, we decided to uh, take it that step further and use it as an art form in the way that we've used our music.